Quantization is always engaged when recording sequences on the black box, and this may lead to patterns in timing that is more rigid than some people want. So in this quick video, we're going to walk through a few tricks to loosen up the feel of sequences on the black box. Concept. By decreasing the step intervals of a sequence so that the step lengths are smaller, it gives us a higher resolution grid to work with. In short, this means that we have more places on the grid to place notes, and we can place our notes more loosely. The first step is to adjust the settings of a blank sequence that we will be recording into. Let's select the blank sequence. Then let's press info to get to the sequence's settings. We can see some useful settings here, including quantization size. Note, quantization size defines when a new sequence will start playing in relation to a currently playing sequence. For those familiar with Ableton Live, this is similar to clip launch quantization, where a clip will launch in sync with the currently playing clip based on the interval set here. But as it relates to recording notes, this setting is not what we're looking for. We instead need to manipulate the step length and step count settings to our advantage. So let's first change the step length to the smallest interval, which is 1 64th. Now instead of having a default 16th step grid, we have four times the resolution, but that means our pattern will play back four times faster. If we originally wanted to program a one bar sequence, we would then need 64 steps to do so. Now that we have our sequence settings set, we can record some notes. By connecting a MIDI controller, we can get velocity sensitivity for added feel. This also allows us to keep black box's screen set to the sequencer page for visual feedback. We have our tempo set in the song page, and now we're ready to record. Press and hold record and press play. A one bar lead in will sound, and then we are recording. What's nice about this feature in black box is that the metronome is still in a standard 4-4 timing, and we can play our notes as we normally would. So let's play some hi-hats. We can see that a few are slightly off, and we can zoom in and adjust them if we want, or we can leave them and have a loose feel. Quick tip, if we don't like our performance, we can press undo in the main sequence page. This will clear only the last set of notes that were recorded. Pro tip, if we disengage recording in between inputting different sounds, we can undo only the last notes recorded without clearing the existing notes in the sequence. While black box is still playing, press record once to disengage recording. Press record again to continue recording notes. Now let's play some snares. Again, press record when finished. Now let's record a kick drum pattern. Press record when ready and play the kick drum pad press record when finished. So let's say we didn't like our kick drum pattern. In the main sequence page, we can press undo. If we look at the sequence, we can see that only the kicks were removed and our hi-hats and snares remain. By using this double record button method, we can save time by not having to redo the entire sequence, only the last set of notes that were recorded. Note, the settings for this sequence pattern are independent of the other sequences in our preset projects. So you can play a 1 64th sequence alongside a standard 1 16th step sequence. Alrighty, we have one more trick to show you. Concept. Many beats today are actually written in halftime, meaning that the tempo setting in the song file is actually twice the speed of the final song. This results in a higher resolution grid and more flexibility in note timing. Now, if we combine these concepts, we can get a grid pattern that is technically 1 28th of a step, which is as close to unquantized as the block box can currently get. Although these settings are easy to adjust, there's a bit of math to keep in mind while you're crafting your beat. So let's double our song's tempo in the song page. Next, let's go to our sequence page. In a new sequence, we can change the step length to be 1 64th and change the step count to be the maximum 128 steps. Given these settings, this gives us a one bar sequence. We can now record our notes into the sequence as we did before, and our sequence will have an even looser feel than what we were previously able to achieve. Note, when we double the tempo, all of our sequences that we create in this preset will need to also be doubled to account for the increase in speed. All of your sequences in this preset will need to be programmed in halftime. Okay folks, that's it for this video. If you learned something, please give a like, and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Have fun making beats. Thanks!